We all know that Twitter is just a terrible cesspool and portal to hell that causes us to waste all of our precious life, a terrible vice that we will all have to atone for at some point and pay for in the hereafter. But on occasion, there is some real gold to be found on Twitter. Gold, gold and silver. Which makes me think of my friends over at Birch Gold. More from them in a little bit. First though, the absolute top tweets that my producers have pulled, they say this is the creme de la creme, the, the finest, purest gold on Twitter. We're going to pick the best one. First up, I've never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke by President Kofefe himself, Donald Trump. Uh, especially funny because Trump famously loves Diet Coke and drinks it all the time. But the follow-up is even funnier. The Coca-Cola company is not happy with me. That's okay. I'll still keep drinking that garbage. It's just a perfect tweet. The diction is very funny. The topic is so out there. But it's the layers of irony that are here. I don't know how you can possibly beat that one. <laughs> oh, wow. Those producers did a good job. You actually, this happy birthday to this future president. And there she is. And the best part is, you get to just tweet it out again every year. Every Hillary Clinton's birthday, I go back, I retweet that tweet. It's so deeply sad. It's, it is the sadness of someone throwing a party for himself and no one comes to it. Her levels of self-centeredness and, and narcissism are so intense that she posted it. The former future president. All right, next one. Do you know where to find marble conference tables? I'm looking to have a conference. <laughs> Not until I get the table, though. Trump and Kanye are very similar people. They, well, they said they were similar people. They both have dragon energy. Dragon tales, dragon tales. They tweet about such strange subjects and in a way that is so off kilter. You don't know if he means it sincerely or if it's a dad joke or if he's in on the joke or it's so, and that's, that's what you want. You want a tweeter that you can't quite nail down. It's not a top tweet, but it's a good one. Crazy Joe Biden is trying to act like a tough guy. Actually, he is weak both mentally and physically, and yet he threatens me for the second time with physical assault. He doesn't know me, but he would go down fast and hard, <laughs> crying all the way. Don't threaten people, Joe. <laughs> well, this one's great. This, this Trump tweet demonstrates a, a different but very important aspect of Twitter, which is you have to talk like you're eight years old on Twitter. That's what it's for. In real life, you would never go up to someone and say the sort of things that you say to strangers on Twitter. You would never say that to their face. Walk up to a random person and say, hey, you fat idiot. Yeah, I bet you're real dumb and ugly. Bye. But I love it. It's, and especially in this case, like on a schoolyard. You don't know me. You're going down, buster. You're going down to downtown. Okay, Bernie, we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share, period. <laughs> Elon, I keep forgetting that you're still alive. Another great tactic on Twitter, you don't respond to what the person is saying. Practically speaking, all Elon Musk is saying here is, hey, hey Bernie, Bernie, I don't, I don't like, like you. you. He's not addressing any argument about raising taxes on the wealthy. He's not pointing out perhaps Bernie's hypocrisy because Bernie is pretty wealthy himself. No, it's just like, hey, you're old. You're old, I don't like you. <laughs> Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. Speaking to a US senator. You know, speaking of the wealthy paying their fair share, the Biden administration has recently announced uh, its plan to hire 87,000 new IRS agents in 2023, many of whom will be bearing arms as they hunt for your money. You need to secure your savings in a tax sheltered account now, and Birch Gold can help you do just that. Birch Gold Group helps you hold gold and silver in a tax sheltered retirement account to protect you from big government tyranny. Plus, throughout history, gold has always been your best hedge against inflation. A diversified savings can protect you from downturns in the market if you have a 401k or IRA that is underperforming. Right now, just text Knowles to 989898. You can convert that into an IRA in precious metals right now. Birch Gold Group has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, countless five-star reviews, and thousands of satisfied customers. So text Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, just like Beyonce, to 989898, and Birch Gold will send you a free info kit on diversifying into gold tax-free. Take the necessary steps to hedge against inflation today and protect your hard-earned money. Get your free info kit by texting Knowles to 989898. 
98. Next week. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un just stated that the nuclear button is on his desk at all times. Will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I too have a nuclear button, but it is a much bigger and more powerful one than his, and my button works. This actually might, might take the cake Be- because it was a use of Twitter, not merely to entertain, which is the main point of Twitter, not merely to waste time and doom scroll. It actually involved Twitter in the conduct of US foreign policy with a crazy nuclear state. And Trump threatened nuclear war against this peninsula if the leader didn't cut it out. This one actually might be my favorite. Along with all the kind of random capitalization, it's really superb. The reason that Trump had the best foreign policy of any president in my lifetime is because of this. Everyone said, Donald Donald Trump, Trump, he's completely completely unpredictable. unpredictable. He's He's going to get us into World World War III. And they're right about the first part. They're wrong about the second part. Yes, he is unpredictable. That's why everyone played it real cool when Trump was in office, because they didn't know. They didn't know. On the one hand, Trump was a total dove and he ran against the Iraq war and he ran against Afghanistan and he ran against all the foreign adventurism in the Middle East. Then on the other hand, he takes out Iran's top general just because, just because he felt like it one day. And you never know which Trump are you going to get. If you're Kim Jong-un and you see that tweet, you probably think, okay, there's a 95% chance Trump would never do this. This is completely insane. But there's that 5%. (laughs) The guy's pretty out there. I love it. Okay, next one. Kanye, I need a room. F- <laughs> I need a room full of mirrors so I can be surrounded by winners. <laughs> what a great line. Not Twitter specific, but I, I probably will steal that. Okay, next one. Healthy young child goes to doctor, gets pumped with massive shot of many vaccines, doesn't feel good and changes. Autism. Many such cases. Love it. I love it. He's calling attention to a legitimate medical concern that the establishment doesn't want you to talk about. And he follows the kind of Trump tweet formula, alludes to a thing in roughly a sentence, then hits you with the punch, and then has his kind of exclamation at the end. You know, sad, sad, many such cases. Really good. Okay, next one. It's not rocket science, guys. They're just evil and want to diddle kids. It's a great point. I don't think that all the weird groomer, drag queen story hour, put the sex teachings in the kindergarten kind of people actively have a sexual desire for children, but some of them definitely do. Well, we know this because the drag queen story hour organization has had multiple child molesters show up to dance around in sexualized clothing for little kids. Wow. Breaking news. Man bites dog. Stop the presses. Right. I I love that. It really simplifies it. Ronald Reagan said this in Time for Choosing. Well, he didn't say that. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny, and our opponents are evil, and they just want to diddle kids. No, that's not what he said. But he did say, there's really no such thing as left and right. Ultimately, it's a difference between up and down. You're going to go up to heaven, or you're going to go down to hell, and there's a lot of truth to that. Okay, one more tweet. Sorry, losers and haters, but my IQ is one of the highest, and you all know it. Please don't feel so stupid or insecure. (laughs) It's not your fault. I love you. So give me the greatest Twitter gold out there. It's 70% as as Trump tweets. Remember what they took from us. Remember what Jack Dorsey and the libs took from us when they kicked that man off the platform. It's not your fault. There it is. That's the winner. So if anyone disagrees with me, I'm sorry to the losers and the haters, but my IQ is one of the highest. You all know it. And if you differ from my opinion, please don't feel so stupid or insecure. It's not your fault. We'll see you next time. I love Twitter. Go!